Now, February is Black History Month, and today we have the story of one incredible dancer making history in the world of ballet, raising the bar for diversity as she leaps to the top. Arielle Hickson has more. She's redefining the dance world, one step at a time. Misty Copeland, one of the most recognized dancers in history, is changing the face of ballet and making history. Last year, she was promoted to principal dancer, the first African-American to hold the top spot at the American Ballet Theater. It is surreal. It's been my goal from the beginning. I think that's every dancer's goal, to make it to the top of the, of the dance world. But being a black woman, it became a different purpose for me. Historically, ballet has had few famous dancers of color. With its distinct physical requirements, expensive materials, and grueling practice schedules, ballet can seem out of reach for minority or low-income families. In the past, Misty Copeland found it hard to fit that mold. How difficult was it to get to the top? For me, it's been a lot of inner battles. <laughs> questioning whether or not I belonged, feeling comfortable enough to be able to grow as an artist and as a dancer. Most ballet dancers start training as young as two years old, but Misty started at age 13 with the Boys and Girls Club of America. Recognized for her talent, she naturally picked up movements that take years to master in just months. We're hardworking athletes, but we have to make it look soft and delicate and effortless. <laughs> by age 17, she was recruited by top ballet companies nationwide. It's just been a long journey of me just not expecting to follow anyone else's path, and that I know that I've had a different journey from day one. Now Misty has a new goal, making professional ballet more diverse and inclusive for today's younger generations through Project Plie, an initiative by the American Ballet Theater. It all starts in a studio like this, where young students perfect their skills to become some of the best professional dancers in the country. Pointing students like Erica Lull towards a brighter dance future. I think it's opened doors for new students, but I think it's allowing children to see that there are people of color in ballet, and they have people to look up to, and I do, I have Misty. Hi, beautiful. It's nice to see someone who looks like me in her position who's confident, who's confident in her future. And that is the first step. And helping the Muhammad twins look forward to the next generation. It's like a good feeling to know like other black kids are starting to feel more comfortable walking into a dance room. Because we know how it feels to feel uncomfortable walking into a classroom and feeling like the black sheep, like everyone's looking at you. So that's good. Especially when we see other black kids come here, you know, audition, we feel like, oh, okay. It's not only cool. us. It's not only us. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else here that's just like me. From the bar to the stage, Misty says having a role model is key. So we'll just do a first position. Even for someone like me, taking it one dance step at a time. I always say that mentorship is so important, especially in a young person's life. Me, still looking at me. Still I think that your talent can only get you so far. And I think at some point you need help and you need guidance. Do you think that now that you are in everyone's eyes, there will be another Misty in the future? Absolutely. It's pretty crazy to go out when I do these book events and signings to see the diversity with the young ones that are showing up that are so interested in ballet. And I think that they now have the support that they need because their parents can see me, which I think has created an understanding that they could have a future in this world. And I think that that is huge. From prodigy to principal, helping future dancers succeed, one plie at a time. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News. Wow, she's so graceful. Love that story. And if you want to test your knowledge of African American history, take our quiz at channel1.com.